Does anyone know what phantom power is? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. Unlike dynamic or ribbon mics, capacitor or condenser microphones require power to operate. Typically, these mics need 48 volts, although some condenser mics will draw less power. There are usually three ways to supply power to the microphone. Some condenser microphones have internal batteries that provide the power. Most tube condenser mics have a dedicated power supply that goes in between the mic and the console. However, the most common way to supply power to these mics is called phantom power. This is where the console itself sends power to the mic. It's called phantom because instead of a visible external power supply, the phantom power is invisible. If you're using a dynamic mic and phantom power is turned on, no worries. A dynamic mic won't draw any power. But for a ribbon mic, it's a different story. Ribbon mics can often be damaged by supplying phantom power. So for that mic's input, it's best to make sure that the phantom power is turned off. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.